Let's talk about deficiency rationale codes M1 through M6. The first code is M1, which stands for corrective maintenance. This means it's reasonable for a tenant to report the deficiency and for facilities management to prioritize a work order response to fix the issue. Next, we have M2, or routine maintenance. In this case, the deficiency should be identified through daily observations and facilities management should prioritize work orders to address the problem accordingly. The third code is M3, which refers to preventative maintenance. This means that the defect indicates a lack of preventative maintenance practices for the item or equipment. Keep in mind that this only applies to items that would normally have preventive maintenance plans. M4, or capital cost, is a defect that is significant enough to require a considerable financial investment to repair. This usually involves major repairs or replacements. The fifth code, M5, represents increased monetary impact to HUD. This means that the deficiency would result in additional costs for HUD, such as those related to energy inefficiency. Finally, we have M6, which stands for structural issues. This code indicates the potential structural failure of a building or a load-bearing component. Depending on the location, this may be linked to safety concerns as well. In conclusion, Understanding these deficiency rationales and their corresponding M codes is essential for addressing property issues under the INSPIRE program. Next, we will look at rationale code PP1, which deals with market appeal. Please visit navigatehousing.com to learn more about INSPIRE.